Good morning, I'm Father Simon and today is Holy Tuesday. I wonder what you do or what you read or where you go when you're in need of comfort and assurance that somehow things in life will be okay. Over many years, different spiritual writers have fulfilled this purpose for me, not least Mother Julian of Norwich, who states, all shall be well and all manner of things shall be well. However, the mainstay to which I turn is the Psalms. I find the Psalms amongst the most human of scriptures. They express every human emotion from extreme joy through to extreme despair. Even this fact alone offers me comfort that the writers of the Psalms centuries ago knew what it's like to be a human being and that over the centuries, Ordinary people like you and me have been praying, reciting and singing the psalms, seeking the wisdom that they contain. A common theme in the psalms is that of God being a place of refuge, a stronghold, a rock and a fortress. The psalm appointed for Holy Communion today is Psalm 71, and all four of these words are used by the psalmist in the first few lines. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. None of us can fail to be moved by the millions of Ukrainian refugees and the situation that we're seeing there. This situation is utterly desperate and tragically is a repeat of what we have seen time and time again throughout history. History in ancient times and history in our modern times. From the comfort and the luxury of the vicarage, I can only begin to understand what it's like to have to leave absolutely everything behind apart from the clothes that I'm standing in. And not knowing where I will sleep or even if I will sleep in the night. Not having a clue what I will eat later in the day. And not knowing if I will get through the day or the night alive. No one should have to go through this profound devastation. Absolutely no one. And yet millions do and do so time and time again. It's almost as if humanity just does not have the capacity to learn from its mistakes and change. There has, however, to be hope somewhere in all of this devastation of life. If there were no hope, then Holy Week would make no sense at all. Now, I don't think for a minute that the concept of hope is something glib or easy to grasp, far from it. But I do believe that hope is there. And as a Christian, we can find hope in the scriptures and also in the lives of millions of people who try to live their lives with the mind of Christ in their hearts. I find hope in the desperate plea of the psalmist who, like you and like me, knew the pain, the trials and the tribulations of what it means to be just a human. The millions of refugees from war-torn areas around the world need each and every one of us to help provide a place of refuge and safety, a little bit of hope. And we can all do something about this, not least donate a little bit of money to an aid agency such as the DEC. But I'm reminded time and time again that we all need a refuge, a fortress, a rock and a stronghold. And for many of us, this is God. This is the heart of God. The compassionate, the loving, the merciful and the forgiving heart of God. And I'm constantly reminded of this heart of God in the stories of the lives of those I serve here in Minehead. Little stories of care and love and attention. Random acts of kindness, an act of compassion. I'm also constantly reminded of the heart of God in the beauty of creation, something that here in West Somerset is really close to us. And I'm constantly reminded of the heart of God 
in the scriptures when time and time again God reaches out to each and every one of us to save us, despite all of our nonsense and our cruelty and our selfishness. And I'm most powerfully reminded of the heart of God this week, Holy Week, a week that's a roller coaster of emotions as we experience the pains and the agonies of Good Friday and the highs and the joys of Easter Day. Why do people suffer? Why are people cruel? Why do people hurt others? These are all very difficult questions to answer. But is God there is for me a question that has the simplest of answers. Yes. God, Almighty God, is a place of refuge, a stronghold, a rock and a fortress. Perhaps in our frail humanity, we need to open the door of our hearts a little more widely and a little more often to realise this truth. <laughs>